thank you for visiting with me again at another air show. And maybe we could start off, if you could share some news about the Superjet program, how it's going. Okay. Okay, so uh, uh, first of all, let me, start, let me start saying that I think that we have reached a very important objective. Uh, the objective is uh, we have uh, shown and convinced the market about the quality and the reliability of our product. Uh, till a couple of years ago, we were only able to share with the market words. Now we can share fact. We have flown about 100,000 flight hours with our new product. In particular, uh, we are uh, flying with our uh, Western Munch customer interjet. They have a 15 aircraft in service. And uh, we are achieving a very good level of uh, dispatch reliability. In some cases, around 99%. This figure is higher than uh, what uh, you can expect for a government at such level of maturity. So I got the perception that uh, the market now is confident about the quality of our product. But uh, we know very well, we are well conscious that we are still at the beginning of the climb. So we have achieved a very important uh, target, objective, uh, with this level of confidence. But now there are uh, other aspects we have to work with and where we are spending a lot of effort to convince the market that we have not only, we are offering not only good product, good and reliable product, but beyond this product, there are uh, processes, there are uh, infrastructure, there are capability to support the aircraft across the entire life cycle. We know very well how important this is for the market now. Maybe it was not like this in the past. In the past, uh, it was uh, sufficient to offer a good aircraft at a good price. Now it's not like that anymore. Processes are very important. It's very important to capture the market credibility on um, how you do the things. And we are spending a lot of effort on that to create this capacity, we are putting in place facility, all the facility required, all the skills, all the processes, and that's the, what we are trying to com try to communicate to the market. Now, it's very important. So, uh, I would say we have a good offer. We have a very good offer, but not just because we have a good product and a good price, because we have the culture. We have, we have set up a kind of approach and culture. When we discuss with the customer to finalize the sale, we are not finalizing the contract. We are just starting a very long time relationship with them. So we want to show them, we want to give them the feeling that we will be with them for all the product of life. They can rely upon us. So again, as I said, we have achieved the first objective to convince the market about the product. Now we are working and spending effort to convince them that beyond the product, there is much more. There are resources, there are experience, there are skills. And they can rely on us for all the product that I've seen. This is very important. When can we start to see production and deliveries go faster? Yeah. Oh, okay. Last year, we delivered 37 aircraft. This year, we will deliver more or less the same figures, but not because the capability has not increased. Uh, I can tell you that today, we have a, a, the capability to produce a, at least 50 aircraft per year, but of course, we are facing the production on the market demand. Right. So you know that in the last two years, <coughs> if you look at the Western market, I'm sure you agree that in the last two years, the Western market has been uh, quite slow, uh, quite uh, stagnating, let me say. 
In fact, if you look what uh, our competitor, the number of orders that our competitor plays, certainly uh, they are not impressive. And uh, let me say, 70-80% of the orders they place are in the United States right. and uh, in the, on the Eastern market. In the, in the United States, unfortunately, as you know so far, we do not have access because uh, they have the scope close. Right. And uh, our aircraft is bigger than 75 seats. That's the limit that they right. have in this right. uh, agreement uh, with the union. So, so far, unfortunately, we do not have yet access to that uh, attractive uh, uh, market. We hope that uh, this agreement will change sooner or later mm -hmm. and uh, we will be there. So, I think that, uh, but at the same time, we see clear see sign of recovery uh, in the short term. So there are uh, new bids uh, coming on in the African region, in the European, in the European market. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are very, very active and aggressive. We are present in all these uh, kind of bids with our aircraft. So. <coughs> It's true that our production uh, rate is being stable, but uh, it's not a question of capability. Right. Our capability is quite higher, but we will align the production rate to the market response. So, if we look at if we look at five years, you know, what what, what can you what should we be expecting? Should we for expect? For example, that you'll go for FAA certification because maybe in the next five years scope clause could change. Yeah. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about how the airplane has evolved. Have the economics gotten better since the first deliveries? Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, indeed, in terms of big order, big quantity, uh, the biggest, the largest expectation that we have comes from uh, Eastern market. From China, I mean, I'm sure you you know and you read about this agreement that our Russian partner are trying, are trying to set up with the Chinese government and this economy. So the big number in the next two three years will come from that part of the market, while on the Western market there will be good opportunity, not so big as we can expect from the East market, but uh, more opportunity. So you have to consider something. I don't want to mention uh, the competitor I'm uh, referring to, but um, if you compare our uh, older portfolio with some other uh, new competitor, more or less uh, the two figures are comparable. Huh? The figures are comparable. Maybe 15% less, but we are in the same order of magnitude. The difference is, one of the difference is that we have a different customer, okay? Uh, our competitor have a few big orders. So I wonder, if you are at the beginning of a world and your production rate is just 30, and you have a 250 order with only two customers, if a new customer comes on board and he wants to buy the aircraft, what can you offer to him? You have to tell them that they have to wait four or five years. We are, so far, we are not in this, that situation. We have a larger portfolio, maybe a little bit smaller, but with more cost, which means many things. You know, we are uh, we have a wider penetration of the market. We have wider presence. Our aircraft is flying successfully in the freezing cold of Russia as in the hot and dry of Messi. We are uh, in Indonesia, so we are in a different country. And I think this is an advantage. Projecting to the future, as I said, maybe the big orders will come from China, but it's going to be very important for us, also the small number in different countries, because this will give us the possibility to extend our presence on the market with all the benefit that you can get from that. You know? We need to be known. That's our point. We need to be known. But as I said before, 
I think that now our aircraft uh, is known, is appreciated. Uh, we are uh, our offer is very attractive from an economic point of view, uh, not only in terms of price, but uh, also in terms of finance. Uh, usually, when and this is another difference between us and the others. Usually, when you enter in, in a new market, you cannot rely on the lessors on the leasing market, on the lessors on the leasing company, because your product is not known yet. And uh, so the only financing you can rely with is the expert credit. It's what we have done with the Interjet. You know, we have received uh, two awards because our uh, Interjet expert credit financing was a judge in the most innovative financing uh, project of the year. But now, even if uh, our product is uh, quite new, we can uh, offer to the market uh, also other uh, financing models, including leasing. Why this? Because the reason why the restaurants are reluctant and the aircraft is not well known is the residual value, right? Well, our shareholder, thanks to the support that we get from our shareholder, today we can go to the restaurant and say, don't worry about the residual value. We'll give you that guarantee mm -hmm. because we get the support from our shareholder. Right. Okay? And so this will help us to overcome this initial phase. What I'm trying to say is that even if we are at the beginning, and we are not yet well known, we can rely on a financing solution different from export credit. So that's not the only chance that we have. So this is another difference between us and uh, other new competitors. So could we just quickly um, look, can you give us any sense of how the aircraft has improved since the first delivery? Have there been some economic improvements? Yeah, first of all, I would say uh, uh, with, uh, with Interjet, we using uh, we use it periodically to check together the fuel consumption figure that they measure on the aircraft. And I can tell you, they confirmed that uh, Sunday night we had a top level meeting with the uh, Interjet uh, management. And they confirmed that they are finding on the airplane they are measuring on the airplane of fuel consumption, which is between 3.5 and 4 percent lower than the nominal value. And uh, of course, this has a significant impact on, on uh, their operating cost. Uh, what else? You know, of course, uh, we we keep working with our suppliers to reduce the express price, you know. For instance, during the year show, we have a meeting of all our suppliers because uh, we are trying to get uh, more and more competitive uh, maintenance costs. So Interjet appreciate the fact that the modern desire of our aircraft produce uh, uh, more accessibility, uh, is in is a uh, test procedure, and this means to reduce the maintenance cost. At the same time, we are also working to reduce as much as we can the spare price to improve also that aspect of our competitiveness. So, uh, so far, I think that the major contribute that we have on the aircraft economics is the lower uh, operating cost that we can offer with respect to our uh, direct competitor. But simply because I don't need to, I don't have to remind you for, for sure that the Superjet 100 is the only regional jet aircraft of uh, new technology actually in service. Other will come, we know, but they will. We are already in service, we are flying, we have a flown 100,000 flight hours. Okay? with the new technology, with the state of art of technology. And new technology means uh, better DOC. And that's what we get. Thank you. My pleasure.